Hello, I'm Shark Hogzenico, and this is Train of Thought. Um, you have no idea what this series is because it's the first thingy on my channel. Thingy is a technical term that we in the recording business use when we want to say video but our brains aren't working. Um, it's called Train of Thought because I'm gonna be playing with trains and giving you my thoughts. So it's like a let's play slash vlogging series. This is uh, Open TTD for those who don't know. It's Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, which is a very old game that has been re-implemented and fan modded for 20 years. So there's a lot of cool stuff. And I took the liberty of setting up a little town here. I found a nice starting location that has like this bay here that you can see and it's a city and of course it would have to be named New Buttway because you know that's just how my karma rolls so let's just not talk too much and get into this I think probably the first um, episode of this is gonna be less flogging and more you know playing with trains I call my company Thought Train Co because I do not rank high on the creativity scale apparently. That's me. That is the least offensive picture I could make. So that's good. And I've already figured out what, I, what I'm going to do at first. Normally what you want to do is you want to go to um, subsidies. Oh, I didn't turn the music on. I'm sorry. It's very good jazzy music too. There it goes, yeah, okay. So usually what you wanna do is, um, you wanna open up the subsidies window here and find a subsidy that you wanna do, which is usually like a passenger route between two villages and then you set up a bus and you get some money. That's fine, but I'm using a lot of um, mods, also called new GRFs for some reason. And one of them makes like, hang on, let's actually show you this first before I get started. So this is New Buttway Sandbank, because, you know, you you want your, your Buttway to have a sandbank. And this makes fish. Well, it doesn't make fish. They fish fish. And you can click display chain, and this is furs. F-I-R-S, which is a mod which opens up all the supply chain stuff. So you see there's fishing grounds and they make fish and they send the fish to the fishing harbor. So far so good. That all makes sense. It's not that complicated. It's not that worse than a base game. So this is a new Butway fishing harbor. I'm just going to keep saying new Butway because it's freaking called Butway. Um, okay, so they take fish, but they also take manufacturing supplies. So you click display chain and oh my god, what the hell is this? So all of these things make um, stuff. That's, that's the transportation industry technical term for things. Wow, that was, that was bad. I apologize. I'll, I'll see myself out. Um, yeah, so these places probably take some raw resource and they make manufacturing supplies. Apparently the fishing harbour can take both fish and manufacturing supplies and then it makes cargo which can go to hotels, grocers, petrol stations and houses. You can actually um, fund hotels, grocers, shops and petrol stations yourself for not millions although more than I currently have and I'll be able to sell my fish products and as you can see if you deliver both manufacturing supplies and fish they make more stuff so it's all very interesting and I've never played with it before I've only gotten as far as building this harbour and then I was like okay I, I see what's going on so I've built a harbour 
which takes passengers, mail, fish, goods, and manufacturing supplies. And I've made a the new Butway ship depot because you know Butway. Now we have like a bazillion ships that we can buy. I did. I did. I, 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 I don't even know. So I want one which is refittable to fish and cargo. Refittable to all cargo 26 kilometers an hour. What's the running cost of that? I've, oh, this has a pretty low running cost. It's also really slow, but that's not that. Oh, it also has like less cargo space. I don't. How much, how much does this make? Let's, let's look at that. It makes 72 tons of fish. This takes 300 and, nah, that's a bit much. Oh man, this rocking music, it's amazing. Um, while I try to figure out which of the bazillion ships I need to buy, I'll just um, tell you a little something vloggy. So I used to have a YouTube channel. But then, like, my, my sinuses got all fucked up and shit. Oh yeah, this channel is not, like, PG rated. So, I swear a lot and I can't stop myself. And if you don't like that, well, maybe not subscribe. I'm just gonna... No, uh, I just... Uh, I don't know if, like, 60 passengers refits to, like... Oh wait, it's 35 tons, so I need, like, two of those. This is 52 tons, um, but yeah, my sinuses got all fucked up, and that was not good. I'm gonna buy this one because it has 85 tons of coal, so I'm gonna assume that's gonna be 85 tons of fish as well. Oh man, this is this is this is tense. This is like MLG level TTD gaming. No, I want fish. I don't want milk. Look at all this stuff, it's ridiculous. Okay, 85 tons of fish. Did I do it? Or did I not do it? Refit chip. Did you, did you refit? Yeah. So yeah, I just, like my voice was perpetually fucked up, so I just stopped um, doing YouTube. And I did that. I didn't do YouTube for a very, very long time. And this is basically gonna be my return to YouTube. Because I've been doing the game dev thing, and I really enjoy doing the game dev thing, I'm also going to build my HQ here. We're going to be stationed in New Butway forever. Because it's... You just can't make this stuff up. Now, now this um, ship is going to load up fish and then just drop it off here. And usually in a, the vanilla game, you use ships mostly for like oil and stuff. And they're slow, but they make a lot of profit. Usually you start with buses and stuff and you can't really get a good profit going, but with this it should be fine. We've also got Sanning Hall and Marfing Field. It's quite interesting terrain. So yeah, I just I just want to do this as a, as a hobby again. I used to do it a lot and I quite enjoyed it and my voice is now no longer as fucked up as it used to be. Oh, people are celebrating because a ship arrived at the new Butway Sandbank. I wonder what type of person would call their city, like, Butway. It's like, I know what to call the city. Are you gonna... No, I don't want to do that. Stop doing that. I'm going to call it New Butway because butts. Actually, that sounds like something I might do. If I'm, if I'm entirely honest. I'm gonna build a lorry station here, or a bus station, because it seems pretty well in the middle of town. And then I can build another one, um... In, in New Butway, because Butway... I just, I just love saying New Butway. Don't you love saying New Butway? I love saying New Butway. And then I can build one over here in New Butway, and it'll all be um, amazing. 
So what I could do is have like the lorries coming in, coming in here and then have the bus st stop like here. That would be interesting. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh wait, I could actually... Mm. No, I'll do it this way. I'll put the depot here because I don't really need two lorry stations right now. I can I can replace it later, and um, that'll be good. Actually, I'll reserve this for a depot later. Oh my god, this music is amazing. I may be slightly sarcastic. You can't even see New Botway bus station. Oh shit! It it made it made it separate. See, there's New Butway and New Butway Old Town Hall. Which is not what we want. We want both of these to be New Butway Old... How is it New Butway Old Town Hall? Is there a new town hall in New Butway? How do I do this? Is it control? Yeah, if you hold control, you can merge stations. No, I don't want to... Yeah. So we want this to stay New Butway Old Town Hall because that is an awesome name. So yeah, usually if you attach two stations together, then um, they turn into one station. The problem with that is if you have like a depot in between, it doesn't. And in this um, new version, uh, you can hold control and merge stuff even if they're like separated. But that's something I wanted to show you guys. So I was looking around the map and I found this place. It's a hospital, a church, a couple of buildings, like a lighthouse or something, and they're like completely wedged into this small island. So I'm gonna... This is not a town. This is this is a place where they send the insane people to the insane asylum. So I'm gonna rename this to Munfinberg Asylum. If anyone has a better name for this, an insane asylum name, I want to know. So yeah, that's the loony bin. That's where we sell, sell the sell the crazy people. <laughs> we sell the crazy people for money because that's how we roll. I quite like these new um, graphics that they made for the thingies. So yeah, uh, ooh, is that like a fire station? That's pretty neat. There's a lot of detail went into these. Those are like completely new um, graphics that were made by the community. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got this going on. Have you loaded up yet? How much have you made me? Have you made me a mint? Okay, so they, they, they made me like 1400 pounds. Yeah, the default settings is like British because, I don't know, British. So yeah, this is going to be Train of Thought. It's going to be my vlogging OpenTTD series, which is kind of half Let's Play, half me just babbling about shit. Because honestly, this game, like, it looks vaguely exciting now because it's the start of the game and I have a lot of shit to do. But afterwards, it's like me just spending ages on some railroad junction, not getting anything done. Or looking at the bazillion buses available to me. Uh, this is another mod. This uh, makes a metro which uses the road and it's basically just a bus but they're like x-rayed in in terms of graphics so it's like they're going underneath the roads which is pretty nice I gotta say. I intend to make some more series. One of them is the the uh, do it yourself. One of those is do it yourself DIY, and I'll be doing some game dev stuff in that, and hopefully that'll be a formula that works. Otherwise, I might have to stop. And I intend to do an actual Let's Play series where I don't just sit and play with trains all day because that is just silly. Which of you has the lowest running costs? That's basically what I want. Though you are very slow and you don't carry a lot of passengers. So okay, let's buy this one. Yeah, what you want is you want to, to have passenger services. 
because that'll basically make towns grow and if towns grow then you get more shit. I should probably make an effort not to swear profusely. But that's like, like, no I don't want your new experimental vehicle, it probably sucks. Okay, this is like barely any difference between all of these, so I'm just gonna buy this one. Oh my, this is this is my jam. I hope you guys can actually hear the music, because it would be very um unfortunate if you couldn't. So we've got a mail truck. Uh, we, this is what you n normally do, you just set up a bus route and then you wait forever and then you build trains. But because I made the fish market, so that's going to be um, good. Yeah, good. Good, good. For those of you who don't know my game dev shit, I'm just going to give up trying not to swear because it's part of my personality. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I run a game studio, my own game studio, with one employee, i.e. me. Why would that music stop really suddenly? Um, and I make games, and I'm best known for a roguelike where you kill things in a dungeon and then possess them and then learn their abilities called vid boss. Which is on green light and uh, which needs yes votes so I'm gonna put a, a link in the description where you can vote for it if if you're so inclined. That would be that would be very much appreciated. So yeah it was basically a bit, bit of a return to YouTube return to form. I also do a game dev podcast called the Game Dev Podcast because we are just amazingly creative with names. Um, I do that with my friend Supervin47, it's hosted in his channel. There was an episode recently, I don't know when it's going up on his channel though, but once it does I'll link it in the description and you can also go watch that. It might already be up by the time this video comes out, which is going to be amazing. And now I'm just kind of lost because, like, I make my fish thing. So they're making tons of food now. Just, just tons and tons of food. And I could... No, that's the wrong one. Um, subsidies? Are there any subsidies? No. You guys suck. Um, yeah. Fun new industry. That's what I want to do. So I want to make a petrol station, I think. Because that's probably the... Jesus Christ, that's really expensive. Let's not make a petrol station. So in case uh, um, some of you um, are familiar with Midboss and wonder why I haven't worked on it, I have actually had a really bad run since I released the beta. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do and talking about something else while I do it. Um, yeah, I've had a really bad run, like, right when I released the beta they um, came and renovated the bathroom for two weeks and I have asthma, so all the construction dust was not a good thing. See if this is doing anything. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's like a bazillion pa passengers. Ah. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do something about that. I installed all of these. Yeah, they, they renovated the... Um, can I? Hang on. If I do this. New but way old town hall. And then I want to do something else. So I want to do this. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to date make it two... Make it five long, because this is probably going to be on main terminal. I am also going to... No, I don't know what I just did. But I don't think I wanted to. Wait, is this a petrol station? Can I? Is this a petrol station? Do you take f you take food? Oh, oh my, oh my lordy! Uh, 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 bit, 
Felix, oh, there's a petrol station there too. Why do you, oh, you have a petrol station? But suddenly everywhere there's a petrol station. That's amazing. And what is this then? This is a dude. Does this take passengers? Is this like a park? Yeah, but like my sinuses got all fucked up again and I basically, once that stopped, I could work again, except then I got dizzy for like five weeks or something, so I haven't really been working on the game. Wait, so... I don't know, like, this is all new to me. Does this mean this park, like, takes people? I wonder if they built, like, the icon into the tile so you can see if things. Oh, I have all sorts of hotels too. Hotels take food. All of these places take food. Oh, well, that's convenient. I thought this would be more difficult. New Buttway. Now we're going to name this New Buttway Park. Sanding Hall, Old Town Hall now except good. <laughs> that's, that's, um, I get the feeling this mod makes things a lot easier. But I'm not sure. That's, um, make a couple of truck uh, thingies here. Hmm, do I want to attach them to the fish market or do I, do I want them to be something different? Yeah, I think I do, but I don't know where. What would be aesthetically pleasing? I'm gonna put them here. No, no, I don't want. I don't want your west buttway. I want normal fish market buttway. Okay, so I've made two truck terminals there. I also want to jazz this up a bit. Raw fixtures. Yeah, so I want to put this here, attach it to the fish market. Um, process products. What looks like fish? Which one of these looks like fish? I don't... I don't... I don't know. Do we just want a bunch of containers? Would that be good? Or do we want boxes? Let's do boxes. You can't go... What do you... Mean I need flat land? No, you need to raise it up a bit. Come on, we know you can do this. How oh, fine. Can I p put the other thing there? Facilities. Ah, that's wrong. Marshalling yard. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh my god, I could like lose all my time in this. No, I don't want that. I want the other one. Oh, that's cool. They don't show up until there's like shit there. So I do want this one. Um. Jesus. It's just so much stuff. Who even knows what, what they can do with all of this? Can I put this there? Can I put this there? Yeah, I can. Okay. So that's fine. So then I want to put them there. Can I do that? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Okay, uh, crisis averted. We now have thingies. I also want to have this crane. Give me the crane. Please give me the crane. Okay, good. Good, good. Um, should I build a depot here as well? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just do that. So yeah, I haven't been, been working on Mitpost that much. Oh my god, I am already at 25 minutes playing with... I don't even have any trains yet. I need to... 
food truck, come on, come on, give me a food truck. Well, I did say this was going to be more Let's Play than, you know, vlog thing. So it's fine. One of these has got to be refitable. Goods, manufacturing supplies, no. Farm supplies, no. No, no. Armour truck. Fork size? Oh my god, there is so much in this. I don't, I don't even... Uh, building materials, tanker truck, chemicals, milk, oil, petrol. No, I want food. Ah, oh, I need fridge trucks. Okay, so do I want the really big ones? How much, how much tons? 30 tons? This is making not a lot of food. I'll just buy two of these. And the first one is going to go to here. What do you mean he can't go in there? Yeah, he can. Did I do this wrong? Oh, this is right. Yeah. Can't insert new order. Vehicle cannot go to that station. Are you kidding me? What do you mean it can't go to that station? Clearly it can go to the station. Oh, do I need to refit it? To food. Now can you go there? No, you can't. Cause, cause, huh? Yeah, I know it has too few orders. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this bit out and, and come back and say bye when I figured it out. Cause, yeah. Okay, so I don't know what was going on. I guess there was a bug with that um, particular brand of vehicle because I made a different one and that seems to work fine. So yeah. Okay, so it goes to the fish market and then it goes, um, you take food, right? Yeah. You take food, okay. So go, go my minion, fly. So I'm gonna buy another one of those. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm running on like a half year old version of this, so it might be fixed in a new one. So this one does not work. This one does. So, you know, it's new butt way. Sometimes you're gonna run into some butts. It's just, just how that works unfortunately. So what happens if you've never had any um, vehicle or anything come to pick up cargo that was made by something, then it won't pile up in the station until you do. Once you do, that's fine. Um, I could... See, this is near the petrol station. So I could either do a drive through here. Oh, why does that not accept petrol or food? Oh, okay, fine. No food for you then. This accepts food because there's like a bazillion hotels here because this is like a Bayside resort thingy. Um, yeah, do that. Do that, dear. That's fine. Okay. Well, that was a good start of things. I'm just gonna save the game here. Train of thought, zero, zero, two. Save. And I'm gonna bid you adieu. The next video is probably gonna be next week, I think. Don't want to really crowd it too much. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye